So this is the Fire Tiger Believer crankbait that we made. Uh, I put a clear coat on it with two-part epoxy, and I think it turned out pretty well. Give you guys a good look at it. And I'll be excited to use it. Okay, so there's currently a snowstorm going on outside right now, and I'm hoping I don't lose power. But we're going to try and paint this Drifter Tackle 8-inch Believer. And I'm going to go with the Fire Tiger pattern. Show you guys how to do it. I need opaque black first as a base color. Okay, uh, I'm going to put quite a bit in here because I didn't do a base coat. What the heck I was doing there? Uh, yeah, let's just do a base coat. Let that sit while I rinse out my brush. So I gotta make sure I get all this black out of here because I'm gonna be doing a lot lighter colors after this black. Otherwise it's just gonna ruin the entire color scheme. Hate doing black base coats first because if you don't get your brush perfectly clean afterwards, then it ruins the whole paint job. But, it also looks really good when you do a black base coat first. Pearl silver, that's what I'm looking for. And we're just gonna go over that. Don't need to heat set this because we're still at the same coat. And we're just gonna go over that with the pearl silver. Just a light coat of this. Clean the brush again, and then we'll heat set and start with another coat. Okay, so we've got our airbrush clean. Now we're going to heat set. So let me make sure I got this set right. Yeah, this will work. Quick heat set. Alligator clips. And we're going to put stocking netting on this to make the scale pattern. So I'm trying to keep the scales, stretch this about the same amount. So I want the scales to be about the same size throughout the bait. Doesn't have to be perfect, just close.
we do our fire tiger colors. Slide those to the side. Some extra paper towels. And then we need, uh, we're gonna work light to dark. So let's do our yellow first. Um, I'm gonna use this wicked opaque yellow. So I'll put some yellow in the brush. Don't need that much. Okay, so I'm actually going to thin that out a little bit. That was a little thicker than I had liked spraying that out of the brush. So, we're going to add a little bit here. And then we're going to add a little bit of reducer. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Just to thin it up a little bit. And we'll leave that there for now. fade so we don't really need to rinse this out very well uh, just put a little cleaner in there spray it a little bit spray it through a little bit clean the bowl spray the rest out now we're gonna move on to the green back uh, I'm not sure if I want to do like a pearl color with this yet um, Yeah, let's let's do like a pearl pearl lime green color for the back. I'm actually just gonna mix it right in this yellow. Add more green than there's yellow. Just a little bit of reducer. And then mix it up. To make it a really light, light lime green with pearl in it, and then I'll go over it afterwards with just a regular lime green pearl since it's not mixed with yellow. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the darker green on the back. Okay, well that's done, and we're going to heat set that. Ouch, that was hot. And we're going to pull these off. Pull that 
very carefully. Okay. Get rid of that. Slide those to the side. And there's what we got after we pulled it off. There's a little string right there that's gonna bother me. That's after we pulled it off. Obviously the bottom isn't as good, but we're gonna cover that in red, pink anyways. So let's do that right now. Clean this out. Okay, so we got the brush clean. We're gonna put some fluorescent orange for the bottom. Okay, now to cover up some of the back, um, cause I don't really want the scale pattern on the back. I'm gonna go over it with some pearlized darker green. Just right down the center. Cover up the scales on the back a little bit. Scales will show on the side. Belly's already covered up. That just about does it for that. clean this out and then it's time to do the details okay now for the details I'm gonna go with a straight opaque black with some of the cartridge there and then I gotta make a stencil for these uh, lines on the fire tiger so I actually had a stencil um, I just put some tape on it to make this outline and then I'm just gonna go down through the bait like this Remove it, and there's the fire tiger outline. Just like that, I'm going to continue down the bait. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and there'll be more videos like this in the future.